slightly late start tonight because we were catching the end of some, uh, some football, some Monday night football. I am going to give this at least one more season with this nightmare team. My goodness. And of course, we'll get to some basketball in a little bit. But for now, it is another season of Lumber Jacks football. Can I please make the playoffs for the first time? Uh, we are down to an 81 overall roster at this stage. Um, our team's old and regressing, and yeah, we're in a we're in a rough spot. Gary Boss is our man. Gary Boss is our man. Bought Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I haven't played any AC games. I haven't played an Assassin's. I haven't played through a full Assassin's Creed game since three. It's been a long time. Um, running back, we still got Stephen Morgan, although he is getting worse. We still have the one superstar fullback in George Locklear. And then our receiver core, which is getting worse pretty, pretty quickly. Of course, we ran into the money trouble uh, last season as well, just to have the team be as good as it is. So, uh... I I don't know. I don't know what we're going to be able to do. The O-line's okay. He's out for a week or two. We, of course, had some preseason injuries because when do we not? And the Lumberjacks less tragic than the Bills and the Jets. Um, no. <laughs> At least both of those teams have made the playoffs once in their lifetime, man. Oh, man. Oh, that window for us might be closed. Consider dusting off the Cardinals. <laughs> I am tempted, let me tell you. But, like I said, I don't quite want to give up on this team just yet, even though we have uh, we have gotten significantly worse. We might have to run one more Cardinal season just to put a smile back on my face. No Tremaine Avery at the start of the year either. He got hurt too. But hey, at least we have good special teams. Right? Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. No breakouts week one. We're going to go through this bad boy and see what happens. Um, we lost in week one and picked up another injury. <laughs> Let's keep talking about real football because the virtual version is killing me. God. Oh, boy, you might be getting a lot more NBA on this channel in the next few weeks. Goodness gracious. Speaking of the Buffalo Bills, the Josh Allen butt fumble. I um, I enjoyed Mark Sanchez commenting on it. It was pretty funny. That was pretty, pretty funny. I'm glad Mark Sanchez, like, there are a lot of players where if something embarrassing happens, it feels like they kind of just double down and fight it and it's like no, it's, no. something like mark sanchez like ah whatever you know and honestly it's it's better to have a butt fumble moment as the highlight of your career than it is to have never been a part of any memorable play whatsoever so you know mark sanchez will be talked about until the rest of time compared to and i don't want to throw anybody under the bus but there are plenty of names you could go back to through the 90s, the early 2000s, where people would be like, who the hell is that? Mark Sanchez, though, he'll always be remembered. Bless him for that. Goodness. Cody Parkey. Hey, Cody Parkey might only be remembered for the double doing, but he will be remembered. You know, it might not be the thing you want to be remembered for, but you'll be remembered. Uh, UDFA is fun, but the lack of the dev shit drives me nuts. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Again, a lot of the um, the dev pattern increasing, it just comes down to some pure luck. So, Demo, what's up? I definitely didn't talk about it at all on Twitter. <laughs> and I definitely don't still have someone who follows me on Twitter <laughs> trying to fat shame me. Because <laughs> I made a joke about Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Twitter's still free, man. Twitter's still free. For as big of a scumbag as Elon Musk is, at least that app is still free. And you can get some free entertainment on a nightly basis 
for minimal work. It's a good time. It's a good time. Oh, man. Hello, Crash Andrews, by the way. Ever try a draft only challenge? Um, no, but it is something that could work. It would be very difficult, though. Um, a draft only challenge in this game in particular would come down to money being a major, major issue. Uh, there are a couple of dudes that are still on the free agent list. I'm going to see if there's anybody uh, that's worth bringing in to try to get rid of them. Get rid of their abilities, give people a chance to make them better. But yeah, the biggest issue is the financial situation in that regard. Um, just because every single player that you draft gets a guaranteed contract. Or, you know, you have to dedicate a certain amount of money for the fact that you drafted them, and that adds up very, very fast. Uh, you could argue probably to the same level as this challenge does in terms of having to overpay everybody. Even a day three challenge would be tough. It would be more possible. But yeah, you'd have to be very, very selective. I wish I could use the X-Factor database, by the way, but it still crashes my game. Um, yeah, you would uh, You just have a bad time money-wise. So, Roger's out for the rest of the season. Is that confirmed? Apparently. Four plays. Four plays into uh, his Jets career, and it might be over. Oof. Well done, Crash Andrews. Crash is my game as well. Yeah. I'm a draft score. He's man. You get seven picks, 53 spots into people. It is tough. It is tough. All right. I'm going to sign this Greg Burnett dude and take away that ability because nobody's going to sign him. So he is just taking up a spot either for our team or somebody else's as uh, Crash Andrews is having fun. This guy is an X Factor and he's not being signed. Again, 34 years old. You'd think he would just lose the ability. Like, I know regression isn't in, but you'd think it would kick in at a certain point, but apparently not. Uh, and then Isaiah Foskey. Uh, so apparently the X-Factor slots do still matter. Um, they're not supposed to, but we have gotten the warning a couple of times about hitting the limit. So, yeah. That was an unfortunate realization. Um, even this dude, who's still a good player. No one's signing you, buddy. Oh my goodness, okay. We got a couple of dudes who uh, we're going to free up those spots for. Again, it doesn't guarantee uh, that we will get any more breakouts, but someone around the league might. So we might as well do it. Like I said, if I could check that X-Factor DB, this would be a much faster process, but Madden gonna Madden, you know? Madden, gonna Madden. All right, there we go. Let's go edit these guys really quickly. I found a Ben Ross in Madden, but he switched to the FIFA team. But yeah, so one of the uh, unfortunate things about Madden, and again, wouldn't want anyone to get hurt, but I find it amusing how the Rogers and Jess story played out. I will say the same. I wasn't rooting for Aaron Rodgers to get hurt. It is fucking funny, though. <laughs> like, I don't... Like, if someone can't find the humor in it, man, hey, uh, sure. But it is funny. Like, I feel bad for Jets fans, because it's like, we have hope. And then, hmm. Um, and then, like I said, you know, my biggest thing about Aaron Rodgers... The guy... Did I not have the... I guess I didn't have the space to sign the middle linebackers. Um, which is odd. I guess I didn't have the cap room. The, the irony for me is that he is a guy who uh, at certain points in his life has thought that he is known better than uh, doctors. And uh, now he'll be getting the best medical care that money can buy. So, you know... You know, everything's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. He's going to be he's going to be just fine. 
Oh, goodness. I don't think the Jets are in a snake bitten franchise. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Mm. They've, had a, they've had a bad run of it. They've had a bad run of it. But, yeah. Overall, no room for the guy to get hurt. But, uh, like I said, I look forward to... <laughs> I mean, the joke I put out on Twitter that really riled some people up was I can't wait for him to stop to stop the doctor in the middle of the surgery and say, wait, wait, I got this. I know better. Uh, wouldn't be the first time that he's done that towards doctors, you know, so. Either that or he'll, uh, yeah, he'll break out the crystals or he's got options. He's got options. He's got access to the best health care money can buy. Um, and he'll, <laughs> he'll figure something out. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see. We got Johnson, and we got to get rid of Simpson's ability, too, since you guys are just rotting away on the free agent list. Why not? Darkness treats Achilles rupture for six days. Oh, God. Goodness. Heard Ayahuasca has some amazing healing. <laughs> That's all Twitter was tonight in the aftermath of it. So, and you bet your ass I looked at the responses that everyone happened to be getting and it was like the same 12 people. How dare you insult Aaron Rodgers? How could you at a time like this? He, it's a shame Aaron Rodgers is the first ever football player to get injured. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if Buffalo can uh, not choke against us. That's ah, week two. It always takes longer. Always takes longer. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to win. Wow. Even Buffalo choked against us tonight. Uh, in terms of the injury. The only way it could be more hilarious, the amount of injuries that we're getting. As if it was an Achilles injury. Um, God. <laughs> Matt Short keeps getting injured more consistently as the seasons go on. Uh, his health is starting to fail him. In general, this team is, is in a pretty rough... Oh, good! Matt Short's X-Factor is going to be active for the entirety of the next game, or at least right out of the starting gates. That's good. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. <sighs> All right. Well, let's. Um, we have 33 of our 53 contracts that need to be sorted out. So that sucks. Shout out to my buddy Dave. Way to go, Dave. Way to go. Way to go. Ah, settings. Preferences. There we go. There we go. See, under perfect conditions, even injuries can be fine. Oh, man. Um, I don't really want to pay attention to contract renegotiations yet because, oh my god. Um, yeah, by the way, you can follow my buddy Dave on Twitter um, under that exact... Same handle. Uh, he's an independent video game maker, including the likes of Action Arcade Wrestling, available on consoles everywhere. It's a fun game. Um, God. Let's double-check these contract negotiations. A lot of these guys will be normal dev. Some of them won't be. Um, Clint Clifford, Charlie Cooper, these guys can go because whatever. They're just rando backups. I can't afford to pay Avery Dean too much money. I can't like he's fine, but he's never going to be insane. That's the type of guy that I'm probably going to have to start letting go of. Our fullback, George Locklear. I don't want to let go of you. I will overpay for our superstar fullback. So we're going to have to prioritize certain players here. Uh, Charlie Hearns can't afford to go anywhere. It's one of the best tight ends we've seen in free agency so far to show you how bad the, uh, Player generation's been there. Juan Bost definitely needs to stay, and he has. Devin Cooks actually will be probably next on the list. Dylan Raymer's not important. Brandon Morgan, we got to keep you two. 
I gotta keep you too. There we go. Um, I guess I just could have gone to Tevin Cooks normally. Like I said, we have a lot of filler players. I had quite a bit to do last night in terms of getting this team set up. We didn't get a single dev pattern increase through the training camp games or anything like that. Both these guys suck. Uh, Osgood has to stay. Sign him. Perfect. Everyone's accepted their extension so far. Cornell Allen's going to be expensive as hell, but... I can't afford to lose an X-Factor corner, even if he's regressing. Uh, what else do we have? Our punter has to come back. I'm going to be paying a punter four to five million a season. God help me. Uh, Benji Woodley's not that bad. Peter Barber, even though you're getting older. Still got to bring you back for now. Hope we can find somebody else to replace him sometime soon, because it's not going to be Otis Drummond. Uh, ooh, okay, I didn't notice that, actually. Darnell Van Dyke went X-Factor. I don't know how that... How I overlooked that. But Darnell, despite regression in the Super Bowl week... When the hell did he go X-Factor? I don't recall him going X-Factor. Maybe I was looking right at it. Or maybe I'm confusing him with Widmer? He is regressing, but man, if he's an X-Factor, I gotta keep him. Gotta do it. Down to 43 million in cap. Got a couple of younger corners. Got a lot of younger guys here where we don't absolutely have to bring them back. These two defensive tackles wouldn't be the worst. Okay. Well, for the most part, the... Somewhat crucial players that we needed to bring back are back. It looks like... Oh my god. I can bring in Avery Dean, but eventually he's going to have to get cut. Might as well bring him back for now, but I am setting us up for the exact same situation that we were in last season. Where it's like, oh cool, we don't have the money to re-sign people, let's get rid of these guys. We can overpay them for now, but eventually they're going to have to go. Tight spot, what's up by the way? How the heck are you? Goodness, goodness. But yeah, very, uh, very eventful week one. And it's funny as hell. Because obviously, like, I'm not going to be like, no, I can't talk about week one of the NFL season because this will end up on YouTube eventually. The problem is this will end up on YouTube in like December. <laughs> so real life, people are going to be anticipating the end of the season and I'm going to be here just being like, yeah, hey, remember when Aaron Rodgers got hurt? I do feel bad in a sense about the Aaron Rodgers thing because uh, I did say on the most recent episode of the uh, Tookie's Take podcast, which you can hear on any podcast platform of your choice or watch a video for him on YouTube. Just search Tookie's Take podcast. Um, I did say that I, I predicted Aaron Rodgers to retire by the middle of the season. Didn't think it because he was injured. I just thought he'd get mad at the team underperforming and then whine on the Pat McAfee show and then retire. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, sorry, Aaron. I'll take the blame for that. Oh, man, money-wise. Already I'm not going to have enough freaking room to keep everybody here. What a pain. What a pain. How hilarious would Brady to the Jets be? Honestly, I wouldn't even blame him. I don't need to re-sign these normal dev guys. I don't know why the hell I'm sending them offers. It's fine. If Tom Brady goes to the Jets, I won't even be mad. Because if he were to win a Super Bowl with the Jets... <laughs> there are already some people still dumb enough to try to claim he's not the greatest of all time. If he were to go to the Jets and win a Super Bowl... Then there you go. You know? There you go. <laughs> Ryan to come out of retirement after the uh, Super Bowl comment. <sighs> I don't blame the guy for being like, hey, Matt, uh, 28 to 3. At the same time, low hanging fruit, you know? Low hanging fruit. And again, for Matt Ryan, he's done something very, very few people have ever done. 
And that's be a starting quarterback in a Super Bowl. But at the same time, like I, like I said, do you remember the conversation we just had about being able to laugh about yourself like Mark Sanchez? It's one thing to be like, ha, ah, yeah, I remember when my team lost. It's another thing, your first day on the job, to be like, hey, remember the worst moment of your life? You know, that's it's kind of rough. That's rough. Carson Wentz, you're a New York Jet. Oh, hey, look, the, the dual player glitches back in. That's fun. I mean, I know someone mentioned Colin Kaepernick, but Carson Wentz is out there. They, they have... The Jets have a couple of options. I'm intrigued at who they go for if Rodgers is indeed done. I mean, they're, do they even have a, they don't even have a third string QB on the roster. Like they're going to have to bring in somebody. Um, and obviously that's the question. Like, is it going to be a veteran who's like, all right, one more shot? Or are they just going to run with Zach Wilson? In my opinion, they have no choice but to run with Zach Wilson. Like he is he's got to be their guy. It hasn't been that long since you drafted him. It's like, Zach, here you go, buddy. This is this is your final chance. Like if what and granted, that's difficult to say after his performance <laughs> because he was not good. <laughs> he was very, very ungood. But at the same time, why am I not auto updating these guys? Um, at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like, man, just. Unless he's that bad, you probably don't turn it over to a Colt McCoy or someone like that. How old's Andrew Luck? Not that old, but I, I don't think that's the type of guy that would budge in terms of coming out of retirement. Could be wrong. This could age horribly. We'll find out. Oh, the Vegas Raiders with all of our 17 bajillion injuries. We lose. Because of course we do. This team is never, never going to make the playoffs, are we? The Phillip Rivers come back. I mean, one of Phillip Rivers' kids should be old enough to be able to be a starter in the NFL, right? Doug Flutie comes every time. <laughs> every play is a drop kick. God bless Doug Flutie. Legend. This freaking tight end. You fuck you. How about that? Jerron Andrews. Oh, just lose every game for Cable. The problem is the Jets, I don't think, would be able to out tank some of their competition in the tank bowl this year. Even without Rodgers. Like I feel like the team has been built up enough. I mean, Jesus. Christ, you look at the touchdown catch tonight, it brings out the thought of like, huh, if Rodgers didn't get hurt, Wilson would end up with like 15 touchdowns this year. More than likely. Yeah, I mean, the Cardinals are running with freaking Josh Dobbs as their quarterback, which, hey, no disrespect to Josh Dobbs, but everyone knows why he's there. He's there to be the tank commander. So, ooh, did it finally give Richard Simpson his X Factor? If not, we're going to spin a wheel for it. It did not give him his ability yet. So we are going to pick a number between 1 and 8. And see what it ends up on. And the answer is number 8. So we will be giving him grab and smash because it's not going to automate it otherwise. So congrats there to Richard Simpson. Uh, it wasn't going to give him an ability otherwise, though. Kyler murdered Kyler Murray traded to the Jets once he's healthy. Honestly, that might not be the worst idea either. That might not be the worst idea for the Jets. You know, if you kind of find out Zach Wilson's not him, like, is there somebody else? The Cardinals, I'm sure, would love to get rid of Kyler Murray. Would absolutely love it. Who's the 2024 NHL tank favorite? The Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> oh, great. We're down to one and three. Oh, this season's over. This season's over. God. We're just never going to make the playoffs, are we? We're never going to do it. Multiple X-Factor players, 90-plus overalls. We have the 
28th ranked offense and the 29th ranked, 29th ranked defense. God. We are screwed. Absolutely screwed. I don't even know if there's anything we could change up scheme wise. Most wins five. We won nine games last year. I tried to switch us back to the air raid for boss to hopefully ball out. That has not happened. Um, we could go from the pistol. A couple other zone run options. Honestly, let's just let's just go with the best scheme fit, whatever it is. And no matter what, it's a, something with fifty eight percent. Uh, either the vertical power run, the multiple power run, or the uh, what's the power run? Let's go with the old vertical power run. And our defense has been terrible. Is Aaron Rodgers' career over? That I don't want to speculate on because again, I'm not rooting for the guy's career to be over. Um, goodness, goodness, goodness. Makes sense probably just to run a base 4 3. Is that our highest scheme fit at an 88? Yes, it is. Along with the base 3 4. I think it's a logical question. I mean, it's a logical question, but again, I don't like to speculate if someone's career is over. That's not fun. I can think the guy's a massive idiot. But I don't want his freaking career to be over, you know? I don't even want to speculate, like, oh, yeah, if it's as bad as it seems. Like, I hope the guy comes back and plays football and stops trying to pretend that he knows better than doctors. You know, the same the same way that you call Aaron Rodgers an idiot for thinking he knows better than doctors, it's the same thing you would do to a doctor who could be like, who, who you, say you were watching the game with a doctor, and he's like, why didn't Aaron Rodgers throw to that guy? That doctor would also be an idiot for thinking he knows better than one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Uh, this team seems like they took over the Detroit Lions' inability to do well. <laughs> correct. Absolutely correct. Let's go back to that uh, New England playbook. And then defensively, that Cleveland playbook's not doing much for us. Oh, goodness. We'll go with the Andy Reid playbook. So, why not? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't see how we're gonna, how we're gonna make this work. Sportmaster, what's up? Gary Boss keeps getting better, but not good enough. Not good enough. Whoops. There we go. Worked that time. For the record, anytime you're on this stream, if you're listening to the, <laughs> if you're paying attention to the music in the background, there's about a one in five shot that it's a Billy Talent song. Let's lose to the Chicago Bears and pretty much prove that our season's over. No, we actually beat them. How do you like that? We actually beat them. Two and three on the season. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Got to get that morale up. It's always very, very important. Get that team morale up. Hmm. Whoops. Let me end up over there. All right. What do we got? Our defense got better. Actually, both defense and offense improved after that win over the Bears, so not bad. Again, I'd love to check the score, but it takes forever now to actually check the score. So, I don't understand why they changed it. But, EA gonna EA, I suppose. Uh, let's see, Tiger, still getting better, former Rookie of the Year. Gotta be honest though, I think trying to develop Tigner was a mistake. We saw he was superstar dev out of the gates, but he is just now hitting an 80 overall. We simply didn't have the time to develop him into a top-notch wide receiver. We only had the time to develop him into somebody half-decent. Usable player, certainly, but not as elite as you would have hoped. But like I said, I you know was kind of talking about that last night, and you can kind of look back to see where we've made mistakes when it comes to this franchise mode and 
where we might have been able to succeed versus just what this has turned into. I mean, right now, it just feels like I'm trying to delay the inevitable, but I am going to continue to do so. <laughs> I don't want to give up yet without at least making the damn playoffs. Not winning a Super Bowl is one thing. Not making the playoffs, that's, a that's just an absolute disaster. It's the only way to put it. The Dolphins in week seven. The Dolphins in week seven. Four and two Miami Dolphins, who also look quite legit. Our defense is now second ranked, and our offense is the worst. I don't know how our offense is that bad when it's better than our defense, but fair enough. Uh, Tremaine Avery, now that you're back from injury, but man, you just. He's declining fast. He at least has the X factor, but he's declining very, very quickly. Sooner rather than later, these guys are going to be moved into depth roles, if not outright cut from the team because of their contracts. Morgan Dean and Blair. Just want to double check this now that we've had people come back from injuries. Cam Betts has dropped by another overall point. Man, if Brandon Morgan's getting worse, too, hopefully that's just a morale thing. Got Zach Scott showing up as an 83. It's got to be a morale thing, but, man, it's not uh, It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Benson's down to a 75. Short is still injured. DVD having bottleneck, by the way, is a pretty good ability. Barber, Tremaine Avery's back. Well, two and three can get back to 500 with a win here over Miami. Please. Hello? Why are you taking so long? Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, what seems to be the problem? Thank you. We won! We're two new injuries. <laughs> Come on! Our starting middle linebacker, and again for the second season in a row, our defensive tackle. This time he goes full Kevin Nash with a quad tear. Oh, God, Winnipeg, what's up? I'm the toughest, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not making the playoffs. We're not making the playoffs. Not at all. MMA fight me. <laughs> I love it, Crash. I love it so much. All right. The New England Patriots. I don't even know who the hell to try to train up anymore because everyone's too... Get the punter in there. Get the punter in there. <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? The writing's on the wall. Right? It's war... <laughs> No, we're not over. We're not over. Positive. Got to remember. Got to remember. Can't be too negative. Got to remember. <laughs> Caleb Landry, at least my punter, has a great haircut and looks like, uh, <laughs> kind of looks like the dad from Back to the Future. Marsteller, take it easy, man. Appreciate you hanging out. Corey Feld, yeah, yeah, a little bit of Corey Feldman in there, too. That's fair. A little bit of uh, a little bit of Corey Feldman and a little bit of Crispin Glover. Nice little combination. Oh goodness, yeah, George. I couldn't think of couldn't think of old Marty's dad, George. Good old George McFly. All righty. Will we lose to the Patriots? Probably, given how many damn injuries we have. And would you believe it? Another injury. Right tackle, Harold Spain, out for a week with a broken thumb. Son 
of a bitch. These injuries are insane. <laughs> Would you believe it? The Lions, the Detroit Lions, the best team in the world, except in this franchise mode right now. Yeah, one and six, even though they were what an 84 rated team. So at least if I'm bad, it's not as bad as the Lions being bad because they should be better, but they're not because they're bad. You see? Also, still no breakout moments this season at all. This is a pretty fun ER simulator. <laughs> Four and four on the season for your Lumberjacks. Mills, what's going on, man? How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's a short week, Melvin, but I believe in you. For the love of God, before I have to cut you off the team so you might be able to play some playoff football at some point in your career, please. Please play freaking one playoff game. That's it. Again, we lost our final... Four games of the season last year to stay on nine wins and miss out. So, uh, final four games. I think I said final four wins. We didn't win in our final four. You get the point. I needed Rodgers to get seven points tonight. Rodgers didn't get seven snaps tonight. <laughs> our kicker, Malachi Rowland. Up to a 90 overall. Not bad, Malachi. Not bad. 5'8", 203, baby. It's a thick-ass boy, as Abdul Gerard keeps getting worse, unfortunately. Keeps getting worse. Charlie Hearns. Make you better. My backup is Russ. So I guess I'm going quarterback hunting. Oof. Oof. I heard Josh Dobbs should be available. <laughs> I mean, Josh Dobbs might get you more points in fantasy than Russell Wilson. That was not a very... Not a very impressive performance for Denver in week one. Houston, can we get to five and four? Yes, we can. With a weekly award winner, but no breakout. Uh, the award winner was Allen with seven touch, uh, seven tackles and a pick six. Seven touchdowns for a center back, cornerback. Playing too much FIFA lately. I'm getting ready for the new FIFA. Um... Every sport needs their own abbreviations, man. Come on. It's ridiculous. Who said short weeks had to be tough? Nobody, Melvin. Nobody. Got the Denver Broncos in week 11, by the way. <laughs> perfect timing to get to play Denver. Absolutely perfect. Anybody else injured? No. We have the 29th ranked offense, but our defense. Okay, let's try something else offensively. I know we're winning, but our offense is this mid. We got to find something else. See what we can do. What can we do to get this offense to work? Anything better than a 56 scheme fit? Not really. Let's go with multiple power run. And we'll use the Josh McDaniels playbook because people have been totally successful in making that work. Especially if your name's not Tom Brady. The joke there is nobody's made it work unless your name is Tom Brady. Anyway. Anyway. Also, uh, week one, Patriots, Tom Brady coming back. I'd say 24 is like, it's looking kind of old. <laughs> it's, it's like, no. All the Botox Tom's using is accomplishing the opposite. It's not making him look older. You dare insult my goat. So right now the wedding's on, on thin ice. How dare she insult the goat? He still looks like a vampire. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that was Tom Brady just going, Bleh! and it's the best. Can somebody please? I I need I need Tom Brady on the couch. Crash Andrews, I know you're home. I need Tom Brady on the Count Chocula box like five minutes ago. Please. <laughs> that would make my night. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be amazing. <sighs> Goodness. Oh, and they come with like little, little TB12 Brady bats. What do I get? My continued love and affection, especially if I call off this wedding. 
<laughs> because of Tom Brady related insults. Hey, shout out to Dick Simpson getting another ability. It was recuperation. Nobody cares. He's a Twilight vampire. Oh, oh that's fair. Put Robert Pattinson on the box, too. <laughs> side by side. Why not? Oh, God. This is all we have to talk about as this team continues to try to not be hot garbage. It's not going too well. Not at all.